Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm May and this is my Pagalia Sky and we create content for fur parents, new season and to be. So after a year of Pagalia puppy ownership, I thought that I would share my accumulated Pagalia knowledge with you. And if you're new to the channel and new to Pagalias, be sure to check out my other video where I talk all about the breed, their appearance, their bark tendency, and also their trainability and all that great jazz. I'll have that linked in the description box below if you guys want to check that out. But in today's video, I'm going to go through my top five care items for Pagalias. So these are just some of the items that I use for Skye to keep her looking and feeling tip top. Again, these are just some things that we use and I wanted to share my experience in using them. If you use different items, then do let me know in the comments below. So with all of that out of the way, let's dive right on into the video. Okay, item number one on my list, and this is absolutely 100% necessary. You must have one of these if you're planning to own a Pugalia pup. A de-shedding brush. This will be your best friend. <laughs> Trust me, you will need this brush all year round, every single season, so when you get a Pugalia pup, you should invest in a good one. So the one we have is the Purina Pet Life Professional de-shedding tool. It's also called the Shed Ease, I believe. Um, we have the small brush, which costs $40 AUD, but I have had my eyes to get the Furminator brush in the large size because I hear that it's really good. I am keen to try it out and I'll let you guys know if I do end up switching brushes, but for now we just have this one for Sky. And the reason why this is awesome is because it helps with um, their shedding issues. You can just get in there, get all of the dead fur out, her coat feels lighter and silkier after every single brush session and I'm sure that she's happy to get rid of the excess fluff as well. And if you're fascinated to know just how much she sheds, I do have another video all about that where I put it to the test and I see exactly how much she can shed. So if you want to check that video out, I'll also have that linked below. Alrighty, item number two is a finger toothbrush and it looks just like this. <laughs> so when we first got Skye as a puppy, we got her desensitized to the feeling of our fingers in her mouth and around her jaw area like this. You can see, I can just stick my fingers in there. She doesn't mind too much. And the reason we did that is because we wanted to buy one of these little finger toothbrushes to brush her teeth every now and then. And it's also great to get them desensitized because, you know, when you take them to the vet or the dentist, then they're going to have less issues when treating and looking after your dog as well. Well, that's a whole different topic. <laughs> Let's get back onto the finger toothbrush. Basically, what this does is it removes plaque and any buildup of bacteria that's in their gums and in their teeth so that it lowers the chance of any dental issues as they grow up and move on to adulthood. So the finger toothbrush that we have is the Well and Good Finger Toothbrush. Uh, we bought a pack of two and it only costs like $5. So really good value for money. And see, you just, she loves it. Well, I don't think she loves it, but she doesn't mind it. I don't know. And how easy is that? So this is item number two on my list because it's really, really easy to brush their teeth. And if you're thinking about getting a pup or you don't have one of these, then I highly recommend that you pick this little guy up. Moving on to item number three. The next item on my list are unscented baby wipes. Now I keep packs of these at home. Um, these are just super handy to have if you have a Pugalia or any other dog really uh, for grooming purposes because for example you know every single time we take Sky out for a walk and you know you don't want to shower them that often we use these to wipe down her paws before we let her loose and free into the house <laughs> so and in particular we love to use these when we take her out to the dog park because you know the dirt and the grass that isn't always the cleanest uh, so when she's been rolling around and playing with her doggy friends, we bring her home and we just wipe her down, her whole body down, with these unscented baby wipes. So the ones that we have are the Cub Fragrance Free Baby Wipes, and they come in a pack of 80 for $2, so 
super super affordable and super super handy to just keep on deck at all times. So let me show you what I mean. You just pop it open, put the tab, stipe up that. So this is what I mean. I just grab one of these, I pick her up, grab a pour, and you just wipe it down like this. Do a nice little rub, rub, rub. And you do this for all four pours and she's pretty much good to go into the house. <laughs> so I highly recommend that you guys pick up some fragrance free baby wipes. They're super handy just to wipe her down and make sure that she is clean when she's at home. <laughs> good girl. Okay, next up, item four on my list are nail clippers. Now, we actually don't own a pair of um, doggy nail clippers because we take it to the vet. Our lovely, lovely, lovely local vet um, does clip her nails for us. So it's really, really great. Um, but if your vet doesn't offer that service or you don't take your dogs to the groomers to get their nails clipped, then always keep a pair of nail clippers on hand. I think we typically get Sky's nails clipped once a month. So it is a must on the care item list. And last but not least, on the items that you need for Pugalia and Pup Care is doggy shampoo. Now I want to talk about this because I absolutely love the packaging. To be honest, <laughs> I probably bought this mainly for the packaging, but also their claims are great. They say it contains no soaps, parabens, SLS, SLES, DEA, silicones, there's no artificial fragrances and no artificial colors. So really, really great stuff. It's great to keep in your shower and I always keep a bottle of these on deck. Um, the brand is Wolf and Meow. So I don't know if they sell internationally, but they're definitely here in Australia. Um, a 500 ml bottle is $31, I believe, but this guy like just lasts. We're not even halfway through the bottle and we bought this last year because I think we use two pumps on average for Sky and sometimes three pumps per shower if she's really dirty. And what I found great about this product is that it lathers really, really well. It just bubbles up and after the shower, Sky doesn't have any strange or chemically fragrance. So she smells pretty natural afterwards as well. Again, this is my personal list of items. Um, that I wanted to share with you. So let me know in the comments below if you have any different items or you want to share some things that we didn't have on the list. I would love to know and test them out on Sky and to see if she likes those products too. So those were my top five care products for Pugaleas. I hope you guys liked that video and if you did, please be sure to pull the thumbs up and also click the subscribe button so that you can see more fur baby related videos. And don't forget to tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next upload. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or you just want to have a chat, please be sure to follow us on our Instagram at OneSoftSky and DM us. Bye for now, but we'll see you in the next one. Boop. The Sky is... What is this called? Ah, uh, the brunt... So the two, yeah, like top five. <laughs> oh. Sky Baba. Mm -hmm. I should check.